Hello guys, today I want to tell you about the Great Lakes, also called the Great Lakes of North America or the Laurentian Great Lakes, is a series of large interconnected freshwater lakes with seal-like characteristics in the Mideast region of North America that connect to the Atlantic Ocean via the St. Lawrence River. They are Lake Superior, Michigan, Huron, Erie and Ontario and are in general on or near the Canada United States border. Hydrologically there are four lakes because lakes Michigan and Huron join at the states Straits of Michigan. The Great Lakes waterway enables modern travel and shipping by water among the lakes. The Great Lakes are the largest group group of freshwater lakes on Earth by total area and the second largest by total volume, containing 21% uh, of the world's surface freshwater by volume. The total surface in 94,000 uh, square miles and, and the total volume is uh, 5,000 uh, cubic miles, uh, slightly less than the volume volume of Lake Baikal. Because of the cell-like characteristics such as rolling waves, waves sub sustained winds, strong current, great depth and distant horizons, the five great lakes have long been called inland seas. Depending on how it is measured by surface area, either Lake Superior or Lake Michigan Huron is the second largest lake in the world and the largest freshwater lake. Lake Michigan is the largest lake that is entirely within one country. The Great Lakes began to form at the end of the last glacial period and around 14,000 years ago as retreating ice sheets exposed the basins they had carved into the land which then filled with melt water. The lakes have been a major source for transportation, migration, trade and fishing, serving as a habitat to many aquatic spe species in a region with much biodiversity. The surrounding region is, call is called the Great Lakes region, with it, which includes the Great Lakes Megapolis ge geography. A map of the Great, of Great Lakes Basin showing the five sub-basins. Sub sub Left, right, they are Superior, Michigan, Huron, Erie, Ontario. Uh, so the five lakes lie in separate basins. They form a single, naturally interconnected body of fresh water within the Great Lakes Basin. As a chain of lakes and rivers, they connect the east-central interior of North America uh, to the Atlantic Ocean. From the interior to the outlet at the St. Lawrence River, water flows from to Superior to Huron and Michigan, southward to Erie and finally northward to Lake Ontario. The lakes drain a large uh, watershed via many rivers and contain approximately uh, 35,000 islands. There are also several sounds and smaller lakes, um, often called inland lakes, within the basin. The surface area of the, of the five primary lakes combined is roughly equal to the size of the United Kingdom while the surface area of the entire basin is about the size of the UK and France combined. Lake Michigan is the only one of the Great Lakes that is entirely within the United States. The others form of a water uh, boundary between the United States and Canada. The lakes are divided among the jurisdictions of the Canadian province of Ontario and the U.S. states of Michigan, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania and New York. Both the province of Ontario and the state of Michigan include in their boundaries 
portions of four of the lakes. The province of Ontario does not border Lake Michigan, and the state of Michigan does not border Lake Ontario. New York and Wisconsin's jurisdictions extend into two lakes, and each of the remaining states into one of the lakes. Uh, as the surfaces of Lake Superior, Huron, Michigan, and Erie are approximately the same elevation, above sea level, while Lake Ontario is significantly lower. And because the Niagara Escarpment precludes all natural navigations, the four upper lakes are commonly called the Upper Great Lakes. This de designation is not universal. Those living on the shore of Lake Superior often refer to all the over lakes as the lower lakes because they are farther south. Sailors of bulk freighters transferring cargoes from the Lake Superior and Northern and Lake Michigan and Lake Huron to ports on Lake Erie on Long Island commonly refer to the latter as the lower lakes, then Lakes Michigan, Huron, and Superior as the upper lakes. This, cor this corresponds uh, to thinking of Lakes Area and Ontario as down south and the others as up north. Vessels sailing north on Lake Michigan are considered a pond even though they are sailing towards an affluent current. Lake uh, Michigan Huron Lakes Huron and Michigan are sometimes considered a single lake called Lake Michigan Huron because they are one hydrological body of water connected by the Straits of Michigan. The Straits are five miles wide and uh, 120 feet deep. The water levels rise and fall together, and the flow between Michigan and Huron frequently reverse direction. A large base and uh, related significant bodies of water like Nipigon, connected to Lake Superior by the Nipigon River, is uh, surrounded by seal like formations of mafic and ultramafic igneous rock hundreds of meters high. Uh, the lake lies in the Nipigon embayment, a failed arm of the triple juncture. In the mid-continent rift system, event estimated at 1.1 billion years ago. Uh, Green Bay is a form of Lake Michigan along the salt coast of the upper peninsula of Michigan and the east coast of Wisconsin. It is separated, separated from the rest of the lake by the Door Peninsula in Wisconsin, the Garden Pen Peninsula in Michigan and the chain of islands between them, all of which were formed by the Niagara Escarpment. Lake Winnipeago, connected to Green Bay by the Fox River, serves as part of the Fox Wisconsin waterway and is part of the larger system of lakes in Wisconsin known as the Winnipeg Pool. Uh, Grand Traverse Bay is an arm of Lake Michigan on Michigan's west coast and is one of the largest natural uh, harbors in the Great Lakes. The bay has one large peninsula and one major island known as Power Island. Its name uh, is derived from Jacques Marquette's crossing of the bay from Norwood to Northport, which he called La Grande Traverse. Uh, Georgian Bay is an arm of Lake Huron, extending northeast uh, from the lake entirely within Ontario. The bay, uh, along with, with its narrow westerly extensions of the North Channel and Mississauga Strait, is separated from the rest of the lake by the Bruce Peninsula, Manitoulin Island and Cockburn Island, all of which were formed by the Niagara Escarpment.
Clay Nipis Nipissing, connected to Georgian Bay by the French River, contains two volcanic peoples, which are the Man Manito Islands and Calendar Bay. These peeps were formed by a violent supersonic eruption of deep origin. The lake lies in the Ottawa Bonacher Graben, a Mesozoic rift valley that formed 175 million years ago. Uh, lake Simcoe, connected to Georgian Bay by the Severn River, serves as part of the Trans Severn Waterway, a canal road traversing southern Ontario between Lakes Ontario and Huron. Lake St. Clair connected with Lake Huron to its north by the St. Clair River and uh, with Lake area to its south by the Detroit uh, River. Also, it is 17 times smaller in area than Lake Ontario and only rarely included in the listings of the Great Lakes proper cells for its official recognition as a Great Lake are occasionally made, which found to fact its inclusion in scientific research projects designated as related to the Great Lakes. Saginaw Bay, an extension of Lake Huron into the lower peninsula of Michigan, fed by the Saginaw and other rivers has the largest contiguous freshwater wetland in the United States islands. Dispersed so throughout the Great Lakes are approximately uh, 35,000 islands. The largest among them is uh, Manitoulin Island in Lake Huron, the largest island in any inland body of water in the world. The second largest island is Isle Royal in Lake Superior. Uh, both of these islands are large enough to contain multiple lakes themselves. For instance, Manitoulin Islands near Lake Manitou is the world's largest lake of a freshwater island. Some of these lakes even have their own islands, like Shore Island in Lake Mindimoya in Manitoulin Island. Um, the Great Lakes also have several peninsulas between them, including the Dor Peninsula. Some of uh, some of these peninsulas even contain small, smaller peninsulas, such as the Kivino Peninsula. The Sam Peninsula, the Bruce Penin Peninsula, and the Niagara Peninsula. Population centers on the peninsulas include Grand Rapids, Flint, and Detroit in Michigan, along the London, Hamilton, Brantford, and Toronto in Ontario. Shipping connection to the ocean, also the St. Lawrence, Sea of Eight, and Great Lakes Waterway made the Great Lakes accessible to ocean-going vessels. Shifts in shipping to wider ocean-going container ships, which do not fit through the locks on these routes, have limited container shipping on the lakes. Most Great Lakes trade is of bulk material and bulk uh, freighters of CLV max size or less can move throughout the entire lakes and out to the Atlantic. Larger ships are confined to working with, uh, within the lakes. Only barges can access the island's waterway system, providing access to the Gulf of Mexico via the Mississippi River. Despite uh, Despite their vast size, large sections of the Great Lakes freeze over in winter, interrupting most shipping from January to March. Some icebreakers ply the lakes, keeping the shipping lanes open through other periods, 
of ice on the lakes. Uh, the Great Lakes are connected by the Chicago Sanitary and Ship Canal to the Gulf of Mexico via the Alliance River from the Chicago River and the Mississippi River. An alternate uh, track is via the Illinois River from Chicago to the Mississippi up to the Ohio and then through the Tennessee Tombigi waterway, a combination of a series of rivers and lakes and canals, to Mobile Bay and the Gulf of Mexico. Commercial dock and barge traffic on these waterways is heavy. Pleasure boats can enter or exit the Great Lakes by way of the Erie Canal and Hudson River in New York. The Erie Canal connects to the Great Lakes at the east end of Lake Erie and at the south side of Lake Ontario at Oswego, New York. Water levels. The lakes were originally fed by both precipitation and meltwater from glaciers which are no longer present. In modern times only about 1% of volume per year is new. Um, water originating from rivers, precipitation and groundwater springs. In the post-glacial period evaporation and drainage have generally been balanced, making the levels of the lakes rel relatively constant. Intensive human population growth began in the region in the uh, 20th century and continues today. At least two human water use activities have been identified as having the potential to affect the lakes levels. Diversion the transfer of water to other water sheets uh, and consumption substantially done today by you by the use of lake water to power and cool electric generation plants resulting in uh, evaporation outflows through the chicago sanitary and uh, a ship canal is more than balanced by artificial inflows via the Ojoki River and Long Lake uh, River diversions. Fluctuation of the water levels in the lakes has been observed since records began in uh, 1918. Uh, the water level of Lake Michigan Huron had remained fairly constant over the 20th century. Recent lake levels include required low levels in 2013 in Lake Superior area and Michigan Huron, followed by record high levels in 2020 in the same lakes. Uh, the water level in Lake Ontario has remained in relativity constant in the same time period, hovering around the historical average level. If the outflows from the Lake Superior uh, and Ontario are regulated, while the outflows of Michigan, Huron and area are not regulated at all, Ontario is the most ideal regulated with its outflow controlled by the most sounders power dam, which explains its consistent historical levels. Statistics. Uh, the total surface area of the lakes is approximately uh, 94,000 square miles, nearly the same size as the United Kingdom and larger than the U.S. states of New York, New Jersey, connected uh, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, Vermont, and New Hampshire combined. Uh, the Great Lakes coast measures approximately uh, uh, 10,000 miles, but the length of coastline is 
impossible to measure exactly and is not a well-defined measure. Okay guys, that's it for today. Bye-bye and have a nice day.